ஹரிஹி ஓம் சைராம் வணக்கம் நமஸ்கார் வந்தனம் அஸ்லாமு வலைக்கும் Nice to meet all of you again. Today we're looking at something called prayer, which I'm sure everybody knows what it is and everybody has got experience with, uh, you know, prayers in different ways at different times, for whatever reason it may be. So what is a, what is a prayer? A prayer, well, you know, one of the most common laments I hear from people is that one, they don't know how to pray. And uh, number two, even if they know they are praying, they're not sure if God is listening or God has heard their prayer. So my question to you is, should you be worried about, you know, um, how you pray or whether God is listening? You know, it, it's communication. As long as you know you are communicating effectively, you don't decide whether the other party is listening or not listening or anything like that, you know, because oddly enough, oddly enough, many people struggle uh, to pray because you know, they are focusing on very much on the act of praying, not on the God or on the intended object of the prayer. So, you know, for example, are you able to tell, for example, there is a big difference between praying away and praying through? So are you in your prayers praying away or praying through? You know, sometimes all it takes is a prayer, right? And I just tell you a, a little experience from my own journey, right? Um, I can't remember the year exactly, but uh, I think it was about 11 or 12 years ago, right? Maybe 2008, 2009, but thereabouts. And uh, I was asked to give uh, speeches. This was Swami's birthday, right? 23rd of November. And, um, you know, people called me at different times. So I didn't realize that I'd accepted about four bookings on the same day, right? Fortunately, you know, the first three bookings had, you know, some gap between, you know, the time I, I would finish and get to the next one. So one, you know, in the morning, one was in one center and then the afternoon was in one center and then early evening in one center. And then the last one was in another center. Uh, you know, I didn't have a problem with the morning, the afternoon and the early evening one. This was the last one because I was uh, in, I think, um, you know, in, in one place in Surrey in the UK. And uh, the, the fourth speech was in Slough. So there was a considerable amount of time that I needed to travel from Surrey to Slough. So when I finished my, um, my speech in Surrey, I just rushed out immediately. I told them before that, you know, I'm, you know, I have to speak in an hour's time. And, uh, you know, it takes an hour to get there. So I was not sure that, you know, I was going to make it on time. Um, so I got into the car and I started driving, you know, it was on one of the highways, you know, the M25 here. And at one point, you know, I, I was so agitated and I was, you know, in such a rush that I was trying to speed. And at, at some point, you know, there, there was a traffic and then I went so close and I slammed on the brakes. But fortunately, I didn't hit the car in front of me. I managed to stop in time. Um, you know, and when I hit the brake, you know, the, uh, the visor uh, above my head sort of opened up. And I usually keep a one photo of Swami there and it fell onto my lap. So I took that picture and I looked at it and it says, you know, it's Swami's picture with a caption below saying, why fear when I am here? So at that time, I realized that I was trying to take control of things on my own. And then I just said, you know, Swami, I'm coming to do your work. So help me out here. Right. At the moment I said that I saw a cop coming, you know, on the bike with his flashing lights, right? He came and he stopped by me. I thought, Swami, I asked you for help <laughs> and you sent me trouble, right? Uh, he says, uh, put down your window, you know, find your screen down. So I, I, I wound on the screen and uh, he said, uh, you seem to be in a hurry, sir, where are you going? And then I said, look, you know, he could see I was in whites and all of that, right? With, with some vibhuti on my forehead and all that. And he said, uh, why are you in a rush to? Do you know it's it's uh, you you are likely to cause an accident if you're rushing and you're not careful whilst you're on the roads. So he gave me about a five minute pep talk, right? I thought he's going to write me a summons, right? And then he says, "Where do you have to go?" I said to him, "I have to go to Slough." I showed him the address because I didn't know the way and I was on you know on, you know using the satellite navigation, so uh, or Tom Tom as it is called, and uh, he said, "Okay." Go on to the hard shoulder. I thought, finish. I had it, right? Went on to the hard shoulder. He came and he says, right, I'm going to go 
in front and you're going to follow me all the way on the hard shoulder. Remember the three low, three lanes and all three was like busy because of traffic, right? And he takes me on the uh, hard shoulder for about 10 minutes. We are going, you know, nonstop, right? All the others are watching. Uh, and they must have thought, you know, some big guy is going, you know, with police protection. And <laughs> I was, I, I was thinking, you know, where is this guy going to take me? Is he going to take me to the police station or what? You know, but he just said, you just follow me, right? So I didn't want to do anything untoward. I just followed him. And he, at one point, he sort of went onto the side lane and then, you know, he took me onto some country roads. And within 20 minutes, I reached the Slough Sai Center about, uh, you know, 10 minutes before time or something like that. Then the police guy stops and he takes off his helmet and he says, you know, Dr. Vic, you came and spoke at the Sare Sai Center earlier. You know, my child goes to Balvikas there. I was there, I heard your speech. And I don't normally take the M25, but today for some reason, I just got onto the M25. Now I understand why. It is because I had to take you from there to here. And, you know, he said goodbye, good luck, and he left. That little prayer, I said, Swami, help. That was the little prayer that I said, right? I um, And there you go. The rest sort of speaks for itself, isn't it? So this is the power of prayer, you know. By praying, spiritual growth is slowly accomplished because we slowly dissolve the mind, you know, balance the intellect, eradicate the ego, and develop the experience. And that's why you get bliss as a result, you know. So prayer, my dear friends, is not a spare wheel that you pull out when you're in trouble, but it is a steering wheel that directs you onto the right path throughout. Until I see you next Thursday. Stay blessed. Sayra. Mm -hmm.